Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is June 1st and this is my weekly shop update. So this week in the shop, I continue to work on the cutting board, I'll call it the cutting board project. I am almost done with all my scrap lumber. It's pretty much all gone and I can actually move around over there by my table saw, which is a huge change from a couple weeks ago where I just had stuff just everywhere and I couldn't actually walk over there. So I have um, the cutting board blank stack is now taller than I am, so it is at least 5'6", or I guess 5'7", because I get my shoes on in here. But it's coming up on 6 feet tall, and I think by, by the time I'm done, it's going to be around 6.5 feet tall. So I think there's going to be way more than 50 cutting boards in that uh, stack there, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> I, every single time I walk into the shop and I see that stack, I'm just like, that's just ridiculous looking. I can't even, I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about today is the planer again. I got it hooked up last week and it's running really, really amazingly. It's a really nice machine. Uh, after I got it hooked up, I was just out here, I was just running boards. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe just find some stuff to keep running through the planer. And it was really fun to just plain boards for no reason. <laughs> now, one thing I want to touch on is the clamp rack tip thing that I gave last week. I had a lot of people comment about how it's uh, probably really likely that you could hit your shins on there. And on this planer here, it's probably more of, well, it's probably more of a possibility. On my old planer, the, the 15 inch planer, it had the extension beds on it. And those lifting rods are so far into the frame of the planer that you would actually walk into the, the table before you actually would contact those uh, lifting bars. And it's pretty similar on this one. I don't have those um, those tables on there, so the tables don't stop you from walking into it. But that's where the door opened for no reason. That was creepy. <laughs> um, anyway, so in this case, the, the lifting rods are so far into the machine that you would actually clip your your hip on the planer before you would clip your shin on the on the lifting bars. So I know everyone's shop is is set up a little differently, but for those that that's not really an issue with those lifting rods walking back and forth of it. Especially on, in my shop, the lifting rods on the that side of the machine, I don't walk on that side because I can't because it's up against that pole and all my other machines. So that side is absolutely not an issue for walking into those things. So with that said, let's talk about this thing here. This is the bassinet. So I got a lot of stuff done this week. I got all the joinery cut on the two side assemblies and now I'm ready to start drawing it all together with the rails. And I just have the top rails here to show you today um, because they're a little more interesting than just the, the ones that go in here. So these ones here, these are parallelograms actually. So they are not square. They have the same angle as the, the side pieces here from the, the side, the side piece to the top here. This is an 11 degree angle is what it worked out to be because my chop saw it says 10 degrees, but it's actually 11. <laughs> That's not a problem because I'm using the same angle throughout the whole project. So my plan called for a 10 degree splay, but it just ended up being 11, but that's not really a problem because it's all, it's all the same. It could be 10.56 or whatever, it doesn't make a difference. Um, so this is gonna get Morrison tendon into the top of the two side pieces and then the, the lower uh, support, which actually hold the mattress, that's going to be square and that's just going to be in here. So what's going to happen with the overall shape is the outside of the piece splays this way and then the inside where the baby actually sleeps splays down like that. So you kind of have a double an inverse splay or, or something like that, which I think is going to look really neat, especially with those spindles coming out on an angle here like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, this, this parallelogram shape on the, on the rails is really cool. I think that's a really cool detail. I'm going to just take one of these apart just to show you some of the, the joinery. It's all Morrison tenons. And I'm just, there we go. It's all Morrison tenons. And I did one single uh, large, or I guess well, it's kind of like a medium sized tenon. Um, this is inch and a half square stock. And if this was going to be a little more uh, structural, I would think this would be a good time to use a twin tenon. It would give you a lot more. Uh, glue surface than this does, but just for holding a 
I don't know how big a child would be until it gets out of this thing, maybe like 15 pounds. The bass in it's probably gonna weigh more than the baby. Um, this is more than sufficient to hold this thing together. So as you can see, I have a angled tenon here which goes into a square mortise in the side pieces or the legs or whatever you wanna call them. And they ended up being a half inch tenon, so they're half inch wide or half inch thick, whatever you wanna, whichever dimension you're looking at it, but half inch this way. And looking at the end, you can see I have my 11 degree angle and then the tenon itself is perpendicular to that 11 degree angle. And that's how that is formed. So you can see those kind of pop out at the end there. So actually not too uh, complicated, really. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, a little tedious, but nothing like some of the other projects I've done before. <laughs> and then, and the couple of the last details that I need to do on here, obviously I need to shape this rocker. This is still oversized. It's going to be the same thickness overall as all the other pieces, which is an inch and a half uh, square, so it'll come down an inch and a half and then come back up again. So I need to make the patterns for those. The other thing I need to do on the side frame pieces are is, ugh, is to install the panels into the opening here. So this opening here, gets a solid panel that goes in there. I think that's gonna look really nice. And I'm waiting to do that because I have the, well, I have the changing station, changing table to make still, and it's gonna be made out of uh, solid walnut. So I figure I probably have a piece of that, that project that I could probably use for this panel. So I'll use that for that. So that's, that's where this is at. And I'll be continuing to work on that for the rest of this week or until I get it done, hopefully. Not too much longer. I really haven't had a whole lot of time to work on this, but I kind of got to get it done because I'm running out of time. <laughs> so on Tuesday, we'll be releasing the next episode of the Matt and Matthew show. This time we'll be going back to visit with Joseph again, and he'll be giving us a tour of his shop. And that was a lot of fun to see his shop and just kind of see how everything is set up. As, as always, like the most popular videos on YouTube, I think, are shop tours. At least my shop tour is my most popular video. And it's just fun to see what everyone has as far as setup goes. And you're not going to want to miss seeing his jointer. If you think mine's big, I ain't got nothing on that. <laughs> I'd also like to say just a big thank you to everyone who has just been so helpful and so supportive. If you're not aware, I do this full time now. And without the support of all the fans and everybody out there, you know, commenting, liking, sharing my videos, that really helps a, a whole lot because I really appreciate that. I'm doing this for the for you guys, the viewers. It's all about you guys. So that's just amazing. And really, a really, really big thank you to everyone who has been able to show their support by either uh, becoming a patron over on Patreon or a recurring PayPal donation or a one-time donation or buying something from my store. That stuff's awesome too. I really appreciate that as well. So thank you so, so much. So I think that's about all I have this week in the shop. Uh, pretty, I'm going to call it uneventful, but I think this is pretty cool. So <laughs> that's about all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I showed today, maybe on angled joinery or something, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I appreciate those. and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. <laughs>